Good evening, Facebook Live. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Curry Russell, and it has been an exciting day. I just got off a Zoom call with uh, the founder of Kronos, um, having a good time with that. I've been able to beta test that for the past month and a half, and seeing some incredible, incredible marketing tool. I mean, it's just, it's just hilarious. It's hilarious the things that are out there to try to make your businesses better. And I'm not going to try to sell anybody anything on this call, so I'm just talking about stuff. Um, this other company that I'm beta testing, which goes hand in hand with all the other stuff we're doing, that that guy uh, offered me um, literally a portion of the profits of the business to market that business for them. So it's hilarious to me that the, the people that you surround yourself with, the the more you put yourself out there in the world, the more that seems to come back to you. You know, the people who don't add any value to the world, the people who don't add any value to, uh, you know, the social media, their networks, their their net worth, they're not going to get anything back. And so because I spend a lot of time marketing myself, you know, pouring myself out there, and I'm consistent, you know, you somebody i've had multiple people tell me you know i can't ever turn facebook on and not see curry russell you can't and and you know what i want you to see me i want you to see that i'm trying to help people i want you to see that i'm trying to do something to better my family's life i want you to see that i'm trying to add value to your everyday life um, by posting motivational content by you know tools to help grow your businesses um places that we're going in the world things that we're trying to do for our children we're trying our hardest to continue growing as people not to just stay exactly where we are i i the idea of living mediocre has no no place in my life i, I have no interest in being mediocre i have no interest in just being average i don't want to be I, I started off being less than average we you know my life is a life, a story where I just came from what I considered nothing from bouncing from, you know, house to house and trailer to trailer and apartment to apartment to now living in a big house. And, um, you know, and I'm not bragging by any means. I has no intention of being, you know, attempting to brag. My intentions are trying to show people that you can live in real abundance if you want to. If you make life decisions that take you bigger and better places, you know, I'm not afraid of leaving my area. I'm not afraid of traveling away from home. I'm not afraid of not being near my mom and dad. I'm not afraid of uh, the boogeyman. You know, I, I don't live in fear. I don't live in doubt. I don't live in um, worry. I spend more of my time figuring things out and trying things and failing I mean, if you understood how much time and money that I've lost attempting to make things work, you would lose your mind. You'd be like, what the crap? Why would you do that? Because it works. The more you put yourself out there, man, things just keep happening. The more that you try to find the right people to surround yourself with, the people that you put in your life to just make yourself better, it just keeps coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. Here's my buddy, Chris. Chris is, you know, he's a business owner in Gallupolis, Ohio. He has an incredible t-shirt business. Um, and honestly, one of my best friends, this guy literally ha added so much value to my life. And if I say, Chris, I need this, you know, t-shirt made for, for a bunch of us. The next day we got t-shirts. Look at this. I got a t-shirt right now. Rise up because of Chris. I didn't, I mean, uh, the, a few weeks ago for Elite Profit Plan, I had this vision for this idea. The next week, I had stickers on my car, t-shirts, I had everything. I had websites, everything in just a week. I'm telling you, the people you surround yourself with may, make or break you. I mean, look at your life right now. Look at where you are right now. Do you? If you could think of why... You're either plus or minus in your bank account, plus or minus in your life, plus or minus in, in your history so far. You can probably account that to the people that you surround yourself with. Your, your top five people. You literally 
can look at all the people you surround yourself with, you are the average of them. That's the truth. So if you want to be better than that, dump your friends. It might hurt. It might make you feel bad for a minute. But when you get, get new friends and you get better friends, I promise you will feel better. You will, I mean, I can't explain it. I mean, having the founders of companies talk to me all of a sudden in life, in the last two months, having three months, having the founders of, of businesses, multi, multi-million dollar businesses reaching out and asking me for information, asking me what my opinion is. You know how crazy that is? I'm nobody, but I'm loving it. I mean, I'm loving it. There's Daniel, James, guys, you can see, I mean, pro- exact examples of what I'm talking about. These guys are professionals and they are fabulous friends, people that I want to surround myself with because when I see what they're doing, it just makes me better. It makes me want to rise to their level and be better myself. They've, they're doing things that I'm not doing. They're doing things like Daniel uh, Kump is just amazing at making videos. That dude makes some incredible videos. I mean, just great explanation. He's a he's well spoken, and just comes across as the authority of what he's talking about. And that's what you got to be. I mean, you might not be the authority in your field yet. Why does anybody else need to know that? Be confident. Be bold. Come across like you know something and people will want to work with you, want to surround. They want to be doing the things that you're doing. It's amazing to me that people want to be average. It it almost makes me just disgusted. I mean, I had a conversation with a guy a couple years ago and that dude told me that he was happy right where he right, right where he was. He was happy with exactly what God has given him. And I wanted to just smack him in the head because if you're still alive God hopefully is going to still be providing for you like not maintaining you but leading you towards an abundant mindset that's if you don't understand that Jesus and I didn't mean to go biblical on this but Jesus specifically said I came so that you might live in abundance not be the guy who buries his talents in the ground. I mean, if you want to go bury your talents, you know where that guy went. He got kicked out of the house. The guy who didn't do anything gets kicked out of the house. The guy who goes out and uses his talents, doubles and triples and quadruples his talents, he gets, I mean, everything. But you guys have to, I mean, if you want to live at, at just bare minimum, unfriendly I'm being serious you don't want to see anything I'm doing you don't want to be motivated you don't want to have anything added to in your life you're happy right where you are if you're watching this and you're frustrated by the by the statements that I'm making that you're mediocre and that you're average and that you're you know you're you're just bare minimum basic people I'm not I'm not trying to step talk down to you I'm trying to tell you to rise up take get more get get abundance in your life you know whatever it takes kick out those crappy friends that are holding you back from the places that you need to go to let go of the family ties that were the you know family and friends are the single biggest reason people fail in life your family and friends want you to stay exactly the way they are they want you to do the exact same things they did. They don't want you to grow. I want my kids, and they're five and seven right now. I want my kids to go ahead and move out and go experience the whole world. I do. I, I want them to have the grandest life possible. I want them to be able to create as much living as they can. Everybody's a plane right away, right? Everybody is. It don't make a difference if they're living in india or uh hawaii or you know south africa whatever they can go do whatever they want and i'll see them on through a plane ride we'll we'll talk through video you know it's but i'm different i'm different i know but guys 
it is it is amazing. I'm 38 years old and I didn't start attempting to live until three years ago. That is almost sad. It is sad that the world doesn't teach you, society doesn't teach you to attempt to live. It doesn't. It, the society tries to keep you right there being an employee. And if you don't believe it, consider your high school. Consider the high school that, you're, that your kids are going to right now. Consider the class load that they're taking right now and the classes that they're in. I guarantee that if you live in a larger city and you, you and you your kids are going to an affluent high school or or a you know a regular you know public school they're going to be taught the type of education that's needed to supply people for the jobs in that region. So like the areas that I grew up in, we have power plants and chemical plants and lots of um union workers, lots of late day labor jobs, type of things like that. And so most of the jobs are centered around just basic needs, you know, electrical, engineering, you know, not even engineering level, just journeyman type stuff, just, you know, regular everyday jobs. But if I go to Atlanta, where I'm at right now, I hear that there's kids in high school taking robotics and engineering courses in high school because the the places in this area will support that type of education. It's amazing to me that it's like that. You're because they don't they know 95% of the people coming out of high school aren't going to do anything with a degree. They're going to go out and use basic job get a basic job and stay there for the rest of their life working for somebody else. But that 5%, about 2% of it's going to use their degree and actually live a little bit more basic life. And then about a fifth of a percent are going to go, you know, bonkers and do something crazy with their life. But guys, we've got to stop. We've got to stop supporting the limited mindsets. You've got to stop supporting people who don't want anything else out of life. The beggars. I mean, I am, I am known if I see somebody on my timeline, ask for a ride and I know there's current, you know, they don't own a car unfriend every day. I see him in West Virginia. These hillbillies don't, don't even have a car. And I'm like, how are you an adult and haven't figured out how to get a loan for a car? It's mind blowing. We live in the most abundant nation in the world and you want to live with nothing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, they've been down on their time, their hard, their hardship or whatever. But I'm not, I'm not at that point. I'm in, I'm at the point where I want to promote people to be more. I'm talking just multi, multi-millionaire more from nothing. You know, going from coal mines to diamonds. That's what I, I mean. I, I should create that website, coalminestodiamonds.com. Because I want people to literally go through the pressure and the pain and the struggle to get what they want as opposed to the comfort of the couch and the recliner and the and just doing nothing. Mm. Man, I wish that's I wish people had that. I wish people had that desire, guys. And I wish people had that desire. So, guys, if, if you're, uh, you're you're liking this, share it. If you're liking it, I know I see a lot of people giving some thumbs up and likes and hearts. I appreciate all the love. I know that uh, I'm just ranting tonight. It has been a uh, fun day of being told, uh, seeing uh, Chronos uh, go live. Uh, first time in my life I've been part of a uh, a product launch that's pretty awesome if you don't know what that is reach out to me i'll tell you all about it uh another company reached out to me asked me to be the marketing person for their business um tons and tons of stuff's happened in my life and i'm in atlanta and got something to work that people said wouldn't work at all and i guess that's just the fun part about being me is i get to problem solve and make things happen so guys i'm curry russell if you like this like i said share it give me some love 
Uh, drop in some comments, and I will talk to you soon.